Well, time for the big buzz of the morning. Uh, Chick-fil-A isn't just for humans, apparently. Take a look at this. A hungry bear snatched a Chick-fil-A order off the family's doorstep. The bear only took the fries and nuggets, leaving behind the salad. <laughs> Dagan, what do you think? That bear has <laughs> terrific taste. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love that. Like, if you'd encountered that bear, you'd just say, have it, take it, yeah. not, not interfering with your dinner. <laughs> Leo. I disagree. If that bear was trying to grab my waffle fries from Chick-fil-A, <laughs> we're going at it. Old school. Um, it's kind of, it's funny though, this year it's almost like uh, the Chick-fil-A are as investors and the bears taking away all the fun, right? Exactly like the markets this year. Um, well, exactly. Yeah, exactly like the market today as well. Look what happened to the markets mm -hmm. in the last couple of uh, uh in the last 30 minutes, actually, the Dow Industrial is now negative, down 15. We were looking at a gain as high as 100 earlier when we started the show, and we are looking at a decline in the Dow Industrials right now as we approach a big week of economic mm -hmm. data. Uh, we got the S&P still positive and the NASDAQ, but, but just by a fraction, Leo, we've got lots of housing data coming out beginning tomorrow, uh, beginning this morning, actually, at 10 a.m. with the NAHB. Yeah, I think investors need to get ready. Uh, it's going to be a volatile several months, and there's going to be an opportunity here to put money to work, I think, especially in the first quarter. Uh, but I think we have to realize, with this Fed and with the economic conditions that we're starting to see, volatility is going to be the new game in town. And that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're prepared for it. Just yeah, you just can't you just can't hope it goes back to the way it used to be because it's just not going to do that. Yeah, Dagan, we've been talking about big tech all morning. Look at these performances. They have not been good to investors no. year to date. The major techs are down sharply. Right. Investors are waking up to the fact like they they were looking ahead to the Fed cutting interest rates. And now they realize, oh, we've gotten ahead of ourselves and we need to factor in the deep protracted recession that's going to happen because of the Fed hiking interest rates. Yeah. Good point, and that will continue in the year ahead. Well, we got a market that is mixed. We will uh, wrap it up here. Dagan and Leo, great to be with you this morning. Uh, Dagan McDowell, Leo Kelly, have a great day, everybody. We're going to slip in a break and then.